We just finished reading The End, Almost, by Jim Benton, and I've already made a video on how to draw this donut that's on the cover of the book. And when you're done, you end up with somebody that looks about like this. And if you colored it in, it would look about like that. So I've been talking to my classes about how once you learn to draw something one way, you can use that information to help you make other drawings. And we drew a couple more donuts, and I've been asked to make a video, so I'm making a special edition extra video to show you what we went over. So we drew this donut, but what if we wanted to draw a different donut? So I'm going to show you a couple of different ones. Here's the first one we did after we did the one on the cover. So here's a quick drawing of the one on the cover. And you can see some big differences in that the muzzle is much bigger because he's got a huge smile where this guy does not and his arms are in very different positions. But other than that, a lot of things are in common. So I'm going to move this kind of over here, and I'm going to say, you're going to start with the same thing you started the other one with, which is a big U, and then turn it into an oval. Remember, do your guidelines light. I'm doing them dark so you can see them. Put circles for the ears. Then when you're making it how you really want it to look, come up from the side and just attach to the ears and go back because this artist does not separate the ears from the body with lines. Okay, you put a line through the middle to mark where the middle is. Again, you do it really lightly. And then you're going to go ahead and give him legs. Two little quotation marks on this side, two little quotation marks on that side, some slightly curved lines for the socks. And then little bitty shoes, because he's got little bitty feet. Diagonal line for the white toes on his shoes. The tongue of his shoe goes from the toe line to his sock. And one shoelace. So all that's the same as what we did on the original guy, too. But now is where it changes. The muzzle isn't going to be huge. It's going to be a little circle on his face. So we'll start with the nose, just like we did last time. But we're going to just make a little circle. And he's just got a little bit of a dashy mouth, a little bit diagonal, and two little eyes. And then the arms are very different. They're not flying out to the side. His are held thoughtfully in front of him. They meet in the middle, but you can see the top part is shaped like a capital L, and then it just loops around and follows it, and then this is like a backwards L, and meets in the middle and comes back. So I'm going to put a little mark about where the middle is. Start about the midline, do a capital L, loop around and go back up and then do the opposite on this side. And there you have a more thoughtful donut. And then you can just erase the midline and any connection lines because he doesn't leave them. He keeps them real clean. And if you make these original lines light, then it's easy to erase. So there is our second donut. Now what if you wanted to make the guy that is burping? Okay, so to make him the muzzle is big, but it's crooked, right? And his arms are down to his side, so those are the main differences. So once again, you're going to go, okay, I'm going to make my U. I'm going to turn it into an oval. I'll make my circles for my ears. And then I'm going to do the lines that it just attach them so they're not separate from his body since there's no line up there. I'm going to make a midline to help me figure things out. And I'm going to do my little quotation legs with the slightly curved socks, the shoes with a diagonal line for the toes, the tongue line, and the shoelace. But now here's where things change. He's got a nose in the middle of his face like he did on the other one, but his muzzle's really crooked. It's crazy crooked. So. It goes off this side of his face, but not that side of his face. So I'm going to go out and around and down and back. Then he's got an oval for a mouth. He's got three big teeth. Why three? I don't know. And his tongue is hanging out of his mouth. So that comes out and down with a line in it. His two little eyes are just a little bit crooked. And his arms come from the side, from about the midline, out and back. 
and then you just get rid of the lines that you don't need. Like that. So now we've got a burping donut. And here he is. Okay, let's do one more. If we wanted to do one more, we did the thoughtful donut. And if you look at this guy, he's a lot like the second one we drew with his muzzle in a circle. But his arms are in a different position. And he's got a little frown on his face. And actually, he's curving a little bit to the left. So if we really wanted to draw it the way he's positioned, you'd have to kind of make a curving U, huh? And his ears just go straight up for some reason. So we figured out the top of his head. Just go straight up for those ears. Or you could do the regular donut ears, because I don't know why they're different in this drawing. He just happened to draw them differently. There we go. We'd still put a midline to figure things out. We'd still give him his little quotation mark legs with the little socks and the shoes, with the toes and the tongue and the shoelace. Put the nose in the middle of his face. We're going to do a muzzle like this guy, a circle one. And he's got a little bit of a frown because he's really thinking. His eyes are little lines. Now, to make hands on the hip, here's the sideline. You do a big bump, a little bump, and circle back. Big bump, little bump, and circle back. So, starting from the midline, big bump, little bump, circle back, big bump, little bump, circle back. Now you get rid of the lines that you don't want, including the separation lines, the midline, the lines that you wouldn't see through his arms because we don't have x-ray vision, and the joining lines because this artist doesn't leave those. And you would end up with a donut. That looks a little skinny. That looks like that. So, from our original donut, we could change him like that. So, I hope this gave you some ideas. You can look through the book. I've got it on a video. And you can choose other donuts that you want to draw too. Hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for coming and drawing with me.